What's cooking, baby? I'm ready. I'm ready. I had a long day of work. I haven't played video games in a long time. I went in the basement, and uh, I used to collect a lot of old games back in the day. And I, I found a box of whatever I had left. And of course, I have like some good shit still. But I just, I used to collect the, the old Game Boy primarily is what I used to do. And uh, I had a lot of the shit stuff still. So I got a bunch of games here. We're just going to keep swapping them in and out. And uh, we'll go from there. Let me set, let me get this up. How's everybody doing? How are we doing? As usual, let me know if the if the audio is, is messed up, because I don't know how to work absolutely anything with any of the stuff I do. Alright. Okay. Here we go, baby. I'm getting cozy. I got my iced coffee. Woo! I'm ready to go, baby. Alright. So first game, we got four and one. Uh, it's a bunch of let's hold on, let's get into it. It is so now some of these games I had from when I was growing up and I just saved, and a lot of these I just picked up at yard sales like a couple years ago. Um, but we have Chess Checkers, Backgammon, and Reversi. I don't know what Reversi is. I don't know how to play chess. I don't know how to play Backgammon. All I know how to do is play Checkers, which I know is like the most simple one, but I think what we'll do is, because we have so many games we're going to go through, um... We'll pick, you guys, let me know what, which other one you want me to play. I'm going with checkers first. It's the only shit I know how to do. Let's hop in. Whew. Let's go blue. I, I like the color blue. And we got to go the hardest difficulty. All right. Let's get it. Let's get it. I'm also, I'm playing with a Game Boy player. So there's like a lag on my laptop because I don't, I just definitely don't have it set up the right way I should. Um, okay. Now, oh, God. okay. So I have no... All I know, I, you just gotta jump over uh, the other circles. I think that's how you play checkers. I don't know if there's anything else that goes into it. He's thinking. Thinking. Knowing me, though, I'm, I'm gonna screw up and it's just gonna... He'll pop like three of my guys real quick. So, okay. Um, actually, you know what? If, let's say I get one of my dudes to the end, right? That means that I can move twice or something like that. Or it, it, that could totally be something like my friend made up in elementary school back in the day. But that's what I remember. So, I'm assuming we just got to get... Let's just move everybody up for now. I can't... This is hard to control. Nope, I didn't plan this at all. I just, I, I literally ran in the basement. I grabbed a handful of games from this bin that just had a bunch of old stuff in it. And I said, you know what? That's what we're going to stream with. Uh, nope, I don't want to move that guy. Let's move this bitch right here. I wish they'd give you at least some music or, or something. Oh, I'm getting jumped, right? I can't make any move. I can't go backwards right now. All right, well, let's... All right, this guy will take me out. But then I got... Oh, never... Wow. That's a smart computer. Um... So he can move twice now. Yeah, wait till, wait till we play chess. I don't even know. I don't know one thing about how any of it moves. Let's go, let's move this guy here. Um, hmm, can't move that guy, can't move that guy. I can move this guy. Um, let's move it here. No, no, no. Ugh. It's so hard to control this. Yeah, 
Yeah, Rob, I think I'm, I'm going to pick up that uh, Malibu condos from my Pet Flamingo. I think I'm going to pick that up. I've kind of been holding off on uh, vinyl purchases. I'm trying to budget myself. I moved recently, so I'm trying to save. But that's what I want to get. I didn't pick up any of the other stuff. I know they released it on uh, the mini disc or whatever. I don't know. I don't even know if they, they put it on cassette, but... What? Oh, wait a minute. Pop. There we go. But yeah, but now he'll... Oh, my God. How's it going? I'm good. I had a long day of work. I actually, I, I'm off tomorrow. I uh, took a personal day, so it's like the perfect night stream. So I said, let's jump on here a little bit. I'm getting rocked. All right, let's wrap this one up, boys. This was a this is a quick one. Hmm. Now he's stuck. Oh, never mind. Oh wait, no. Um. I'm gonna lose. I'm gonna lose. Yeah, I, I'm a graphic designer. Actually, I'm, I'm kind of lucky I landed a full-time design job right out of college, which is cool. A lot of people, a lot of my friends, they just grabbed like a bunch of... I'm just gonna lose this on purpose. This game sucks and there's no music, so... But uh, I grabbed a full-time job out of college, which is nice. A lot of my friends, especially who went for art, they, uh, they just do a bunch of freelance, like, especially like right out the gate. Oh my god, this guy's good. I have two cookies left on the board. I, I have oh, three, right? Three? I don't even know. I got messed up. Alright, that was quick. Alfie, what, uh, where are you from? 3 a.m.? You lose. No, I'm not playing this game anymore. That's it. Alright, cheap games. One pad zero. Let's go. I love watching this one on TV. With my grandma, so we're gonna play this one. Hold on. We got, there's like 30 games I got on my table right now, so we're going through a lot. We got a lot of shit to go through. Um, I didn't, I did not get the palm ball pressing. I actually forgot about it the, when it dropped. I was like preparing all week, and I, I should have set a reminder on my phone. But, uh, this is a piercing sound. Jesus. Um. Pad. But yeah, I didn't get the, the Palm Mall one. Uh, I'm, they're talking about doing represses, so. Um, alright. Alright, um, phrase. No S's. That's good. That's good. Right off the bat. That's nice. Alright. Um. What, the, the vocals on the palm ball pressing? What were the vocals? Wait, I don't even know what we're talking about. I'm not trying to jump. Uh, I God damn it! This is I'm gonna look at the chat and I'm gonna look at the game. All right, we missed two. I don't know if there's turns in in Wheel of Fortune. I don't really know how it works. Seven hundred. All right, we need to make some money here. There we go. I'll take twenty one hundo. But yeah, I didn't pick up uh, the Palm Mall. I'm waiting for conscious thoughts to come in. Uh, I think that was Palm 84 dropped that. So that'll be cool. I ordered it a while ago. I'm spinning. Oh, there we go. There we go. Uh, I ordered that a while ago. So I'm wondering when that's coming in. No, I meant to move it. <sighs> K 
Can I get... You know what? Hold on. Let's get some music in here. Let's put some music. Time out. I know I'm going to run out of time. Let's get some music. Let me go. Just let me know if the... Uh, if the music comes through. Uh, relax, Wheel of Fortune. Let's... I'm just going to cut the audio from uh, the Game Boy. I think that's how we're going to go about this. Yeah, hold on. Let me just put my band camp up. Alright. That's enough of you... Wheel of Fortune. Let's listen to some. I'm just. I'm gonna go through my band camp. I hope none of the artists get mad that I'm playing their music on stream. But I don't know. Let's see. Uh, let's pick. Let's go with this guy. I should have this all planned out before I, I start. It would be a lot, uh, a lot smoother. All right, let me know how loud this is because this could be really loud and or it might not even go through at all. Let's see. Do you guys hear that? Let me know. But let's... I'm still able to spin. Um, I use it's an Elgato. It's it's only for like yellow, white, and red. I gotta get up. I want to play like Xbox and stuff on here too. So I gotta step my game up. Yes, this is um, this is conscious thoughts. This is the the, uh, the bottle I was just talking about. I'm waiting for sun, sea, and surfing. It's a good, good album. Uh, hold on, let me get back to the screen. All right, now we can play. so dumb I keep I keep pressing a because I think I have to like go through a text box to pick a letter but that's just I guess that's not how it works no see mm, again it <laughs> all right don't press a gonna make me all right mm, and let's go we're getting money we're up 3900 let me put um I want to put the link to this music in the stream If anyone wants to check it out. Yeah, I just put the link to this album if anyone wants to go check it out. Okay. Wait, I clicked that button, sir. What's up, JM? Um, everyone, if you want, they JM actually put out a vinyl, like a vinyl first look video on the fiber pressing. Uh, the one I just reviewed. I gotta pay attention to the game. This is, I have no attention span. This is horrible. But check out his channel. He just dropped a video on that. All right, getting something. Jeez, 
this is not, this is not. Dude, can I, how do you lose this? Do you just play until you get it? Uh, let's go D. Getting something. Is there any letters in this thing? If I can't lose this, uh, this is stupid. I just, I, I gotta know what the, what it is now though. I'm too invested into this. Um, G. Getting, yeah, we might as well finish the top. Getting. Getting caught red-handed. I am a genius. God damn. All right. Oh, I want to solve it. There we go. Oh, I got to do this in the time. Caught. Where's the... Oh, my God. I'm going to mess up. Caught. Red. Come on. Can we do it on the drop? No, oh, damn it. Boom. We're rich. No, we're not playing. No round two. I'm done. Let's see what we got next. Oh my god, let's play Home Alone. Put this one in. All right, thank God that one's over. I don't know if any of you guys watch Cinemassacre, like Angry Video Game Nerd, but they just had the dude from Home Alone on it for a couple episodes, that was pretty cool. I did a pretty good job with Joe Pesci. That, that's that's pretty good for a Game Boy uh, picture.
What? What did I do? Yeah, AVGN's one of those channels you could just, you could re-binge it, like, every, like, I feel like every year I just end up watching just all the old stuff again. That's it? That's, I don't have to do anything else? Anything else? I guess not. Oh, there we go. Do I climb? Wait, how can I just say? No. Oh, there we go. Start over. I gotta check everything now. Oh, wait, slide well, on doesn't do anything. I love the horns on this track. So I could, I could drop all this stuff down here. Oh, you know what? I might as well uh, talk about the album, actually. I feel like I haven't said really too much about the album I've been working on the past couple months. Um, which is why, like, I really haven't released my videos in, like, a timely manner like I used to. I used to put out, like, two videos a week, I feel. Sometimes even three, especially when the channel first started. But, um... I really wanted to focus, I think around November is when I started working on the album, and I've, I've never done any um, like digital production on on music, so it, not just starting the album, I had to kind of learn, you know, just how to even work the software, and um, it's crazy, it's like it's one thing to like music and you know appreciate music and stuff like that, but so much shit goes into it, like, I didn't even realize how much... You know, because you think you just, you know, you drop down a couple notes, you find a good sample, and but it's so much more. Um, so I've been working on that, and I'm planning, this is the plan, to drop it the 15th of February. So I'm mastering, I'm doing the master for it on the in the first two weeks of February. Wait, didn't we just get that trophy? So... Middle of February, I'm planning on dropping it. Um, I don't know where I'm gonna drop it yet. I don't know if it's gonna be um, like just my band camp or 
I'll probably go with a label. I haven't really looked into it too much. What do you do in this game? <laughs> and he slides everywhere. Does anyone know what to do in this game? Um, so the album, it's, it's mostly, it's mostly French house and, and future funk. There's a couple vaporwave tracks on there. Um, there's a couple features on there too. So that'll be fun to, uh, announce. I'll probably start announcing stuff about the album, at, like, once February hits. That's... I don't know what to do in this game. <laughs> Does anyone know what to do in this game? Yeah, that I, that was funny. They they this is I think this is exactly like the NES one, which is pretty much the same shit of just no one knowing what to do. But I literally I think I've been in each room now 15 times. I have no clue what to do. Oh, where do I go? Playing this makes me miss playing the herbs, man. That was fun. That was a good time. I actually, I got invested into that. I remember I would, I would go to work the next day after streams and be like, I wanna, I wanna play the herbs a little bit. You gotta collect all the items in the house and drop them in the safes. Now, okay, so the number, how do I know when I get all the items? Is something's gonna happen? This is, this is tough, this. Uh, where do we go? All right, I'm about to give up. I would, Jose, I would play the herbs, but I literally, I'm actually not, I don't have my stuff with me. I just grabbed a bunch of Game Boy games. Um, but next stream, I'm gonna probably go back to the herbs because this is, this is crippling. Oh, maybe that's the last one. Maybe we can go to the next level. Never mind, I died. All right, that's enough with this guy. Let's see what we got over here. Let's play some Rugrats. Now this game, this was actually my, I had this. This was like one of the first games I think I got. It's like the exact same one from when I was a kid. Uh, well, I actually never met Cat System Corp. We just, you know, we had the, um, the interview. But uh, I met St. Pepsi, I met Young Bay, and I met uh, Flamingos as you, you know, one account him. I mean, he's not really, uh, you know, vaporwave, but I, I, like, put everyone in this, like, just huge universe, pretty much. So I would throw him in there. Yeah, I'll, I'll get back, I'll definitely get back to um, playing the herbs. All right, let's go. Yeah, I remember this game actually. Doesn't mean I'm gonna win.
I remember there was a there was a Rugrats for the PS One. I forget what it's called. But I used to be so scared of that game when I was a kid. There was this like um, ghost level or something like that, from what I remember. And I, I just remember I just never I never beat the game because I was just scared and I just couldn't play after that part. So I just I start oh, I literally turn the game off and just start a new game and just get up to that point again and then that's it. Um, do I plan on reviewing the records? Yeah, I, I have a couple vinyl reviews I have in mind. I know there's actually, um, there's a couple that I had like Patreon voting for, and I have to get to those. It's Telepath, I forgot the other one. Um, so yeah, the Telepath A one I gotta do. But I should get to the Blank Banshee ones, I feel. Maybe just knock all three out in one video and just do a little retrospective on them while I'm at it. Can I go? I, can't, I hate when you can't see what's below you. Like, I don't know if I should go left. Oh, so there we go. Can I get it? Well, that was pointless. Let's, let's go back. Oh, there they all go. Oh, I thought that was one of those things. Uh, I was, I actually, I want to do another 107 albums video. I'm not going to do it for a while though, because that took so long to make, like writing the script for that video took forever. I, even though I, I put like three or four sentences tops for each album, it just 107 took a while. Like I would do like 10 a day, then I would just get lazy and not do some some days. So. But I'm gonna, I'll hit up a bunch of like top 10 countdowns this this year. Usually a lot of people like, I'll get more views on the top, the like countdown kind of videos. I think they're easier, you know, to flow through also. Oh wait, did the the gameplay stop? Why did the gameplay stop? Hold on. Wait. Alright, let me know if I let me know if it fixes. That is so weird. Why is the screen black? Let's go back out and then in. Is it better? No. Uh what is happening? Hold on, let me. Hmm. Hold up. Let me try to figure out why it's not showing. I wonder if I should just restart the game. Maybe that'll do it. No, why is it?
it's completely connected. I wonder why it's not working. Hold on, people. Let me figure this out. Yeah, Winter Circle on vinyl would be really cool. I think if, if there's... Like, if I had to really pick one St. Pepsi record to get press, I would want that guy. That's pretty much my favorite one. So, that would be cool. Will I ever do a top 10 releases from Insulated? Uh, I don't know. I, I know for... Like, I'm doing this Cry to More video, the French House one. Um, I'm also going to do a Roulette one, which was uh, Bang Alter's record label. So I'm going to do those two. And I'm probably going to do a Dream Catalog one. Just maybe pick, like you know, just like say, you know, a history of the label and pick like 10 releases. So I guess you could say that's kind of like a top 10 records or drops from a label video. So I'll do that. Um... But yeah, I'll look through like the history of the label, I'll talk about some of the releases, and maybe I'll do a couple other ones. I know, personally, one of my favorite labels, uh, they don't put really anything out anymore, but Keats Collective, I used to like listen to back in college all the time. Um, so I'd do one for them, which would be kind of cool. So maybe then. What's up, you Mac? Ram Ren. Thanks, man. Thank you, thank you. Adding your best vinyl pickups 2017. Here, can you do some vinyl Um, honestly, dude, I don't even remember which ones in the my 2017 vinyl review. I don't even remember which ones um I said I would review. Do you know like the specific ones I said? Uh, do I mention Ed Banger artist? I do for a little bit. I, in the beginning of the video, I talk kind of like about the history of French House. So I talk about how, you know, it just, it evolved into the mid-2000s, like when Justice came in and people like that. And they just, they added their own little spices to the genre that by like the early 2000s was just completely crushed. Like everyone was doing, everyone wanted to be Daft Punk and Cassius and stuff like that. Like it all sounded the same after a while. Um, but then, like, Ed Banger came in and just completely revolutionized. Because it's not even really French House, but it's it's influenced by it. Um, and every uh, every artist under Ed Banger was was super unique in their own way, which was kind of cool. Like, DJ Meddy. I, I, DJ Meddy was Ed Banger. Uh, Justice. Was Justice even? I don't even know. Um, Sebastian. Oh, they're all different, too, which is cool. Like, I totally forgot I totally forgot to get back to fixing the video game stream because I just started talking. Um, I've been diving into French House. It's nice to get in the Yeah, the, the Phantom's Revenge is is super, super classic. If if there's one if I ever go back to listen to French House these days, I always go back to the Phantom because he's just he's so raw. Like what, what I love about his sound, it's like there's almost no filters put on it. It's just super just crushed and like you would think sometimes like the the stutter chops are kind of lazy, like they're they're kind of predictable in a way. Like there's nothing really super creative. Like he just picks the right samples, he extends things for the right amount of time, and they're, they're good. Oh, live stream some vinyl video. Yeah, I would do that. I could look into doing that. That would be easier for me too, because um, doing the vinyl reviews actually, like when I when I make a video. The vinyl reviews actually take a while uh, because b besides writing the script and whatnot, I have to find time to make sure I could film the record. And I work like eight to five, so it gets dark out super early. So if I don't have the, the light coming in from the window, I really can't film anything. So sometimes what I'll do, I actually work close to home. I'll run home on my lunch break and for like 15 minutes, I'll just try to film as much vinyl footage as I can for a vinyl review and then go back to work. But I, you know, like the weather's gonna get better, the sun's gonna come out more, uh, the sun's gonna stay out later. So vinyl reviews will be easier to make, but doing a live stream vinyl review would be kind of cool. I could even knock a couple out, so. What's up, Emilio? How is your progress the album? So the, the album's going, I'm really happy with how it's going. In the beginning, I was actually saying this before on the stream. In the beginning, I, I didn't, I've never made 
digital music. I was like in college, I used to mess around with FL Studio with like my roommate, but it was like nothing more than just like playing with the preset instruments and stuff like that. But the beginning was was kind of frustrating because I really had no idea what to do. Um, but I actually, I reached out, I'm always a believer in networking and just, if you like something that someone else does, like if you ins inspired by someone, reach out to them and, and let them know that and try to learn from them. So that's what I would do. I, I reached out to a bunch of artists um, and everyone like, especially in the community, uh, they're so appreciative when you just message them and just say like, hey, you know, I love your music. Could you just tell me something about how you do it or just, you know, explain to me something. Um, so that was cool. I kind of learned from a lot of people. So I spent the first month, because I started the album in like November, I, I spent the first month purely working on just learning how to run the ins and outs of the software and just mixing and EQing, because I never really like would do that when I used to play around with FL Studio like back in the day. I just drop things on the channel, mixer, or whatever. So I have played Marble Madness. There's this like bar arcade by my house and uh, they have like a bunch of uh, they pretty much have like these huge TVs that have every system which is kind of cool you pay like by the hour and you can bring like a bottle of something in so like we just bring like a bottle of Jack in and just play video games for three hours it's pretty sweet and they had like a they have the NES one day we went there and it was just so empty so we tried to play like as many of the NES games they had there which was kind of fun uh, you're right, Jose. It's a month. I have a month, a month to get the album out. I'm talking out and available, and it's gonna be free, by the way. I'm making it totally free. Um, it's like a thank you to like you guys and and family and friends and whatnot. I don't want to charge anything for it. The goal, personally, for me, and I've I've always said this. Um, I could care less about making money with the music. The most important thing to me is I really want to play live, and I want to like get a bunch of artists together and like set up a tour. Um, like go, going to the Young Bay concert so much fun because like going through college and stuff whenever you'd go to like an EDM show it's just it's the same thing it's just the stereotypical EDM music and everyone jumps up and down and, and stuff but like the, that disco vibe that like Young Bay puts out when he's playing live and, and everyone's so friendly in the crowd so it's just so much fun so I could really care less about making money off the album I just wanted to get heard by as many people as possible, get my name out there, and then get to playing live. So that's that's the goal. Um, so and as of right now, I'm not even thinking about physicals. I know you're gonna think like, holy shit, it's it's Pad Chennington. You're not gonna think about physicals, but I really like I'm really focusing on the just getting the album out to you guys, and I just I want to play live. I do plan on doing a physical in the future. I have to put a vinyl out of it, you know. Um, I have a label in mind I think I'm going to go with. I'm pretty cool with them, so. And I trust them to do it. So that's that. Um, I got to get this damn game back on. I'm having more fun, like, just talking to you guys looking at a black screen than trying to jump around with uh, Macaulay Culkin. I don't even know his actual name. It's something like that. Um... I'm not streaming on my channel. Yeah, I saw you were talking about putting a channel out. You should. I always say, you know, there should be more vaporwave content creators out there. There's there's so many albums to talk about, and like I don't know all of them, so uh, it would be cool for like other people like to just make videos and just talk and give opinions and stuff. There's so many of us. It would be it'd be cool to hear what everyone says. Do I have an Elias? No, I'm just going Pad Chennington. I'm just going straight up. And I think live, like, I'm just, I'm not doing no dead mouse mask thing or anything. I'm just going straight up. So if you want to, if you want the, the pad Chennington face reveal, you got to go to the show. That's, that's my, that's my incentive to get people to go. If you want to see what I look like, you got to go to the show. Um, yeah, I was in, I was at the release for the Fiber song on Artsy last night. Fiber, okay, so, um, I actually, I've been working with Fiber. He's been giving me like a ton of advice and just teaching me some stuff for the album such a cool dude um and he's so damn smart like he's so good at production and he's like a young dude too he's like 20 or something uh but he like oh my god i've learned so much from that guy come to me 
You guys are famous for lobster, right? I love seafood, so maybe I, I gotta take a, I gotta take a trip. All right, why is the game not working? I'm gonna totally restart Elgato. Hold on, let's try that. Maybe that'll work. Let's try that again. Yeah, he's good. He's really, really good. And his stuff with Eevee, too, is great. Hey, wait, I think I got it. Hold on, I think I got it. This should work. We should be on. See, this is, like, where I, I miss playing the herbs or, like, when I would play Pokemon Green on here. Because that's kind of mindless. You could just run around and just, like, farm experience and just talk, which is kind of cool. Um, you know what, Alfie, I'll tell you this much. Don't abandon the idea, because when I first started making videos, uh, I noticed, like, the first video I made, I rewrote it and re-recorded it, like, three times. And after the third time, I just told myself, just put it out, because the more you put out um, and the more exposure you try to get for it, you're, you're putting stuff out, and it's better than not putting anything out and hesitating. So, I don't want to play this game. Let's put something else in. But yeah, you should do it, because there's no... I don't cover cassettes. You guys know, know me. I really don't collect cassettes. I have, like, ten of them. And, like, half of them I gave away, I think. Uh, what do we got here? Jeopardy. Let's play Jeopardy. No, you know what? No. Let's go to Caesar's Palace. Let's go gamble a little bit. Let's go there. Um... Uh, What are your thoughts on the whole bootleg scandals? Um, I mean, I think bootlegs, like, just, yeah, it's... The thing with the bootlegs is this. No matter what you say, like, I, obviously I don't I don't condone it because it's not... You, like, people will say, oh, but isn't Vaporwave in itself or Future Funk in itself just bootlegs of the original sample? And there's there's work being done on the sample. Um, and people are putting creativity into it, and there's a lot of stuff that go into it, so... But then again, you could always say, like, we don't really... A lot of people aren't getting the rights for the tracks. So it's a big, like, loop uh, when it comes to morals. But I don't... I mean, if, personally, I don't get any of the bootlegs on Q-Rays. Actually, the only bootleg I really have... I, I, I can't count the Bay Tapes because I don't think anyone knows what happened with that. But uh, I do have the Echo Jams cassette from... Vapor Tapes Inc. I don't know if you guys remember that. That They were around like a year and a half ago. And they were dropping Echo Jams on vinyl. And they were dropping it on cassette. And they, they announced the cassette first. And I remember when I first saw it. I didn't know it was really bootleg. I should have kind of done my research. But I, I saw it pop up on Reddit. So I immediately jumped to it and, and bought it. And then all the bootleg stuff about it started coming out. And then Daniel Lopatin posted about it. Um... But, I think at the end of the day, I forgot who said it on Twitter, but one of the artists, it might have been 3D Blast, he said it pretty well. I think it was, like, if someone were to take his music and slow it down and, like, try to sell it, he'd be kind of cool with it. And I guess it's because, you know, if someone's just, we're still a small, such a small community. If someone was to take your music and kind of, like, do something to it, it, it's all what you think about it. But, personally, I didn't buy any of the Q-Rates Q -rates bootlegs. I'm not gonna, I didn't get the Hip Vibes one, or the Echo Jams one. Yeah, Blue in the Cartridge, I still do that. It works. The, the unfortunate thing about the bootleg thing is it's like, totally taking over the community right now. If you just go on Reddit, that's like all everyone talks about, so it's, it's kind of boring. That's why I'm saying there needs to be more content creators. People need to talk about other stuff. There's so much to talk about, there's so many albums to talk about, so much different genres to talk about and it'd be cool all right we're pulling up to the casino baby let's win some cash people i need a new pair of sneakers i actually ripped my running shoes the other day so i need a new pair of sneakers wow that lady looks creepy welcome to caesar's palace i see you have a thousand dollars credit with that casino i'll get you your chips baby all right good let's win some cash Susie. wish me luck Ooh, this is nice. Look at this. Where do we want to go? Where are we going? We're we playing some roulette. We're playing roulette. 
slots. No, slots are boring. Do we know how much money we have? We got a thousand dollars. Let's go. All right, let's go play some roulette first. Let's go. Let's try to win some quick money. Oh wait, this ain't roulette. No, how do I get out? Can I not leave? Can I not get out of here? All right, can I go here? Maybe we have to play one. Let's go. Let's go with the five. Go over there. Spin, baby. Can I play? How do I play? Give me the cash, baby. Ah, uh, we're down ten bucks. I could have got pizza with that money. Can I, how do I get out of here? Oh, okay, I got it. All right, is there a Can we play? Can we go to the bathroom? We could go to the bathroom. Look at that. That's it. That's stupid. All right, stop clicking. Let's get on the slots. Let's get on the slots, baby. A hundred dollars a spin. Oh, this is, is this poker? Yeah, this is poker. This is bad. I really don't even know how to play poker too much, but I think this is like a horrible hand. Come on, Royal Flush. That, what do I do? Is that it? I can't do anything? All right, well, we just lost a hundred bucks. <laughs> Peace out, Jose. No, I'm not ready to cash it. That lady looks messed up. I don't even want to look at you, Susie. I'm sorry, but... Uh, okay, here's the slots. Here we go. This is where Pad... Let me... This is where I lay. I put my feet on the on the, on the slot machine. Pop open a cigar. There we go. Let's, let's win some money, people. How much are we putting in... Oh, it's just a dollar. I'm just gonna sit like I'm gonna sit like a grandma right now and play some slots. Sometimes you just gotta, you know, pull out a wad of cash and lose it at the casino. Do I have to put the coin in every time? Oh, we're going ballsy now. See ya, my dude. Have a good night. We going broke tonight, baby. All right, hold on. I'm going to go get a beer real quick. Everybody, I will be back in literally 27 seconds. Hold on. Okay, I'll be right back. Hold on. Okay, um, I'm back. Hold on, hold on. Let me go to the chat. Let's see what's going on in the chat. Atlantic City Casino Vibes. Yup. I remember when I first turned 21. Oh my god. We used to, we used to cram like 20 of us in a room in AC. It was so stupid. It was so dumb. But it was fun. It was definitely fun. Um, Nick Android Pad, love your channel. Thank you. Uh, I am not a Jets fan. Believe it or not, I know the name might make you think I'm a Jets fan, 
Uh, I always end up saying the Pat Hennington story when I'm on stream. A lot of people, a lot of people don't know the Pat Hennington story. Uh, you know what? Before I get into the story, I just realized I think the best way to do these live streams is literally let's just play Caesars for the Game Boy. We'll we'll get a thousand dollars and we'll just play the slots and talk all night and listen to some music. I think that's the best way to do this. This is this is relaxing for me. All right, let's win some money and let's talk. But yeah, I always end up saying the the Pat Chennington story on stream, and because uh, people ask like, "Are you a Jets fan?" Oh, I thought we were gonna hit the jackpot. I am drinking Arabicadabra, Ara Arabicadabra. It's like a it's a coffee milk stout. I saw it in the store the other day, so I picked it up. I love coffee, so. Um, but yeah, so the Pat Chennington, the Pat Chennington name story. I was in an Uber a couple years ago with some friends. We were down by the shore and we were just like hopping around. And we were in the car for a while and there was like the, the Uber driver was really chill and we were playing Jackie Robinson, which is like a sports trivia game where you take, like you start off with Jackie Robinson and then you have to name another athlete like we would do sometimes baseball football whatever so you name another athlete that the first letter of their name starts with the first letter of the previous player's last name so for jackie robinson for example you could say like robinson cano so we were doing for football and um i was i was gone by that point so we're like we're, we're playing in the, in the car or whatever we're playing jackie robinson it gets up to me and i get the letter p um, and I was, I was a little buzzed, and I said Pad Chennington, I didn't realize, I switched, oh, we won, we won 10 bucks, um, but I didn't realize I said Pad Chennington, I obviously meant to say Chad Pennington, but I heard the letter P and I switched it, and I don't know, ever since, like, I said it, and I was like, that would be such a good name for something, and then I ended up making this channel, and I said, you know what, let's name it, let's name it Pad Chennington, and now we're here. Good old Pad Chennington playing slots in virtual Atlantic City with my people on YouTube. All right. No, I already got to be able to spit that away. So that's the Pad Chennington story. But I'm not a Jets fan. I'm actually a Steelers fan, believe it or not. I never watched Workaholics. I'm not really a big TV guy. I watched like Breaking Bad when that was out. That was like my favorite show. Shameless, I love Shameless, and uh, I started watching. Me and my girlfriend started watching Dark. It's really good on Netflix. That's good. But after a while, I got a little confusing. Right, let's change up the music a little bit. Let's put on. Um, baby. Let's put on some Barb Walters. Let's put on my boy Barbie. Barb's a cool dude too. He's been helping me with the album as well. So let's throw him on a little bit. Let me. I'm gonna put him. Let me link. I'm gonna link to this in the chat. So. Uh, why won't it let me send it? I don't know. Anyway, this is this is Barb Walters. I'm their business casual if anyone's interested. Good album. Um, Robbie, I will definitely stop by for a beer. If I'm ever in Maine, I will stop by for a beer, 100%. I'm definitely going to get the Barb Walters vinyl just because I, I talk to him a lot. Um... He's actually, he's really into UFC. I'm a big UFC guy. So, because every once in a while on Twitter, I post like MMA stuff and like no one likes it because it's, everyone really knows me for like vaporwave stuff, but he'll always like respond and we, we talk about it sometimes. So, so me and Barb are pretty cool. Cool dude. We are losing cash quick. Yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do. This is the plan. Screw every other game. 
We're only gonna stream the herbs and we're gonna stream playing slots in Caesars, virtual Caesars for the Game Boy. And I also, I think I wanna live stream Kingdom Hearts 3 when that com comes out. That The Kingdom Hearts series is my favorite video game series ever. So maybe I'll just, I'll go through that experience with you guys, which will be kind of fun. Yeah, Tupperware Vinyl, I, he hit that. I think he needed like 100. Um, I talked to him after after he hit that. That's really cool. There's a lot of Q-Rates that are going through. And it, like sometimes I try to think like, it's like, like think about Vaporwave Vinyl a year and a half ago even. It, we, like back in the day, I remember when stuff would drop, like any Vaporwave album would drop on vinyl. I know you guys were like this too. The second you'd see anything drop, you're like, shit, I gotta buy that. And then, like a year and a half later, like bring it to today, it feels like everything's coming out now. That you have to actually like budget and be like, all right, I can't, I can't get this. I want to get this. You gotta like plan everything out. Yeah, I'm on a budget. I am definitely on. I gotta. I'm saving, so I'm saving. But there's some vinyl I want to get. Also, nothing. Um, hit his too on Q-Rates recently. Shout out to those two. Wow, we really suck at slots. There's no like roulette. All right, let's get out of here. How much money do we have? We almost lost. See, don't gamble, people. We're almost down 200 bucks. Here we go. All right, let's play. Let's pepper the inside. Let's go seven, nine. Split the zeros for me. Uh, blah, 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 blah. 17, James Bond, always bet 17. 11. Let's go 28. Yeah, 28. That's it, I'm out of single checks already. Uh, let's put a healthy 10 on black. Hit me, baby. Is it really the mic's quiet? Yeah, I'll put it. Let me know if this is better for the mic. Okay. Could I trade in a hundred dollar chip? Because I don't want to play with a hundred bucks. Alright, let's go. Let's go back to Susie. Alright, let's cash in. Wait, that's it? Oh, I'm gone. <laughs> I'm leaving. I'm out. Oh, that's it? You just leave? Alright, well, I gotta go back in. Emerald Casino, I'll definitely check it out. That's, I'm excited to see that. Thank you. Um, what is my stance on Vaporwave and Future Things? These, I think they're really cool. I like when they do the. Um, I love when they put like an OB strip on CDs. I think that looks so cool. And I, CDs work for most people. I feel like that's kind of the most rational physical. I feel like on a universal scale, because most cars still have CD players, so. Do we have $1,000 again? Oh. Imagine if like life worked like this, you just, you leave the casino, you come back in, you have 1000 every time. Alright, okay, so now I got more. Let's go. Alright, we're playing big. We're going big or we're going home. Let's get crazy. Let's put a hundred dollars on the inside. So hard to control. I will do that. Let's see what happens. Do I have that? Oh my god, I have that. 
That's a hundred bucks. No, that's three hundred. Woo! We cooking up that Game Boy currency, baby. Let it ride. Yeah, how is the sleep line? That was one I didn't get. Neon City does a great job at, at the OB strips, even though they take 18 years to ship. Uh, they do a good job with that. Alright, let's get a little ballsy. So, split the zeros. 20... Let's play that. Let's play that. And let's put a hundred dollars on the top dozen. I don't think that's anything. Nope. Right? I didn't win anything. Oh wait, okay. A grand. We're swimming now, baby. We are cooking now. Did anyone pick up the bootleg Echo Jams? I, I won't judge or anything like that. I'm just curious how many people actually put in for it. Alright, let's do another hundred. Let's do a hundred on black. And on nine. A hit vibe CD would be really cool. Ah, oh, we were one away. Nah, it's a bootleg on on curates. I'm just putting random numbers down. Uh, I don't know. I don't think there was anything that ever came out of the Bay Tapes, but I do have to say, I will tell you this, um, it definitely does not sound good. I have the Bay Tapes, I've played them a couple times, and the Bay Tapes could sound really good if they were mastered right, but because they don't sound that good, it kind of makes you think maybe they didn't get the actual mastered tracks from Young Bay himself to put on there. I don't know, it's a weird situation, because he said something about it, and then I feel like he never talked about it again, so I don't know what the deal is with those, but... I guess it's cool just to own the Bay Tapes on vinyl. Um, am I gonna use the Pad Plays channel soon? I don't know, to be honest. Just because... I just, I have so many more of my subscribers here, and I, the reason why I set up the Pad Plays channel was because I wanted to not overload my channel with video game stuff, but I really don't stream a lot. I don't play video games a lot on here, so maybe every once in a while if I do it and just upload it onto the channel, it's not that big of a deal. So I might just kind of dump the Pad Plays channel. Because then I got to save the file, like I got to save the video, re-upload it on that channel, and it's like a pain in the ass. How's the Japanese disco edits? Well, I don't think nobody's vinyl for that came in yet, right?
I am hungry. I should have got some snacks for this. I screwed up. Uh, yeah, I didn't get the Japanese disco edits. Even though I really wanted them, it wasn't all of them. And if there was ever a vinyl pressing of Japanese disco edits, I always wanted, like, the whole thing. I thought that would be so cool. Um, and then I just, I don't want to wait for Neon City Records. They're so long to just, like, bring your stuff. Yeah, I heard a lot of people are still waiting for the A Million Miles Away repress, which is crazy, because I remember that repress was sent out a while ago. My baby vinyl's in too, actually. I just haven't, I haven't had a chance to open it. It is sitting in my room. I heard a lot of people, like, some people were missing the, um, wow, we're out of money already? Oh my god. Uh, but I heard a lot of people, like, some people got their Bay Vinyl in and it was missing, um, like, the OB strip, someone's missing the poster, like, it was a, a mess. Is that it? Are we out? We are broke. The Bay Vinyl looks clean, I'll say that, like, the artwork for it. Oh, I'm sorry, you had a run of the bad luck. We're getting kicked out. Oh, we can't even, we gotta get on the bus. Oh, look at that. I like it like this. Wow, we broke. Let's hop back on the slots. We're like relaxing over there, grab a drink. All right, let's, let's hop on. Oh, here we go, we got one. I thought that said bitches of Rome. Twenty-five dollars. Let's, let's play it. I saw that too. The vector graphics vinyl, but I heard there's like, I heard that label puts out like kind of poor quality stuff. I don't want to like talk shit about anything. I mean, I don't know. I never got from them, so don't take my word at all. But I just I saw like in the Reddit comments. But then again, it's Reddit, so you don't really no. Yeah. Yeah, I don't have all I have by Death's Dynamic Shroud on vinyl is the I'll Try Living Like This One, and that sounds so good. I love that thing. Yeah, it probably is all right. I'll be 125. Look at that. I think we're doing pretty good. Are we, are we winning? No, we're still losing. Uh, I think they're gonna, they're gonna, they're, they're putting something out by MoShop on vinyl, right? From what I remember seeing. Let's go back over here. I'm just gonna throw hundreds out. Let's we'll see what happens. Yeah. Me, honestly, it's so hard ordering from them because it's the stuff is so good, but it just it takes so long. I like desired. 
Desired had it. I think I was waiting like seven months for that when, when that guy came out. All right, let's put on some. Let's get that real vapor going. It's late, late night hours. Let's put some. Uh, I always play some nightlight tapes. I got, I got their whole discography. So let's put them on. Let's see what they got going on. Fidelity Zero is really good. This is the cassette they sent me. Um, I don't know if you guys saw the unboxing video for that. But this is an awesome release. There's like so many tracks on this. Just like huge thing. Let me see if I could... I don't know why it's not letting me put links. That should have worked. There we go. Um, who did the drawing? It was actually someone I just randomly saw them on Twitter. Um, someone I follow liked one of their posts and it was that they were doing artwork commissions and I never thought of like getting artwork done for the channel and I thought, you know what, like why not? Let's get like a caricature done. So I messaged her and she just like whipped them up. I love them. I think they came out awesome. This is like a thousand dollars on the on the thing. Corespect is the Corespect's awesome. Alan is a cool dude. Oh, we won. Oh, we won a lot. That's a good amount. 1,800, I'll take it. Are we up again? Wow, we won $1,000, people. Let's get back. We got to get back out there in the field. So, oh, also, I, I'm sure you guys saw it today on, like, Twitter and stuff. I'm bringing the Vaporwave Essential Series back. I got a bunch. This is what I'm doing. We're do This is the schedule for the pad videos right now. I'm finishing the Cry to More video. That video is taking forever because it's super long. So, the Cry to More video. Um, then I'm, do I'm finally doing the Broken Transmission video. So, that'll be coming out. I got a couple vinyl reviews. I'm going to throw the Vaporwave Essential Series Episode 4 somewhere along the way. I haven't decided what I want to do yet, so throw you know, suggestions out. I always look at them. And I, obviously working on the album, too. Oh, I won. Look at that. Damn, we're swimming. We are swimming. All right, let's put everything on 17. And see what happens. We'll be rich. But I'm taking everyone out for pizza if this one hits. Is anyone going to the uh, George Clanton and surfing like that? All those shows. Is anyone? I'm going to the one in Brooklyn. I think it's. I know it's in New York. I, I think it's in Brooklyn, but that'll be fun. And then I'm gonna definitely go to the Young Bay, the Future of Funk. I think he's calling it in March. We're already broke. Escort me. Escort me to my bus. We are broke again. I like this screen. This is cool. This is a cool little animation. Thank you, Celine. I'm having a dandy night. 
It's playing some virtual Las Vegas slots with a beer and a comfy sweatshirt. I am chilling. Oh, I know. I My Discord is the best. I go... This is... You want to know what the Pat Chennington Discord is? I never go on Discord. I don't know how to run it. <laughs> Every once in a while, I'll go onto the Discord. And it's like... It's like I have... This is like how I think about it. It's like there, I have this well, right? And I got to go get water from the well. So every time I go out to get water, like once a day, I open the lid up and that's my Discord. And everyone's just like yelling. And then I see... The, just memes of me looking like Mike Wazowski or some shit. Like, I love it. I I don't really dive into it because I like not, the unknown. Okay, I, I really don't. It's Y'all are great. Some great people. Uh, I didn't get Dream Sequence just because... When it dropped that day, there was so much of a mess. I was going to get it, but I th like it was crashing the site, and then they were going to put it back up or something. I don't, I don't know. I am wearing soccer pants right now, the comfiest pants you could wear. Um, will I do a lo-fi hip-hop essentials? I'm actually going to be doing a lo-fi video in February. I'm doing like a double feature with another channel. We're both going to be dropping a video about each of the different artists that we're going to be looking at their whole discography. So next month, I'm going to do some lo-fi stuff. This is Azencio. Mental Pianist Transmission is the name of this track. It's off of Fidelity Zero. So I'll, I'll post it. Let me post this again if you want to check it out. I can't click that. There we go. Pad be gambling. You know, I'm dropping, dropping some currency. I got nothing better to do right now. I do have a lot of chill hop vinyl. I have a couple ginseng. I have, uh, who do I have? Um, what's that dude? Englewood Beach I have. I have Freshly Squeezed. I have that on vinyl. I definitely, yeah, I have some low vinyl. That would be a cool video. I don't think there's been any word on a repress of Birth of a New Day. I, like, Dream Catalog is just so moved on. And, like, nothing against them at all. Like, I, M, like, runs Dream. Like, they, he's always changing, which is cool, so. But I think they're totally moved on from all that vapor stuff. And, but they do drop, like, represses every once in a while on cassette of things, so. I heard too many records want to do a collab. Oh, I never heard. I didn't know you wanted to do a collab. I would love to do that. Um, it'd be cool to see you, dude. But your face is covered. <laughs> Maybe I'll just wear the, top, the Daft Punk helmet if I go. I gotta go. <laughs> Someone's gotta do it, baby. Someone's gotta represent it. Somebody's gotta do it. Quickly, quickly. I, I've never heard of that or him or her. Or, I'll check that out, though. Yeah, and it's this, all this flappy stuff, I have no idea what it's about. I feel like this is the thing on Twitter. I feel like everyone sees all this flappy bird stuff that they're putting out. Nobody knows what's going on, but everyone is too scared to not know what's to say they don't know what's going on. So they could be, so other people are going to be like, how do you not know what Flappy is, or you don't get it, whatever. I don't know, they, they got their own thing going on, it's cool, but I, I just, I don't get it. I don't get it.
Yeah, I always, I try to respect, like, change. I think every artist is allowed change, and everyone still kind of calls him HKE, but he goes as M, so I'm like, you know what, let me call him by that. Just try to do his, do something new. So I gotta respect it. What do I think about Vaporwave games and movies? Um, I mean, to be honest, there's, wait, am I out of money? No, I'm not. There was that, that Vaporwave game that was supposed to be coming out. I gotta grab it. I gotta check that. I'll tell too many records that you wanna do. Would you go to his event in LA? Uh, if I get some information on it, I would. I actually, I'm saving up all my vacation time. Um, I have family in, in Sicily, so in the summer I like to go there. Because we have like a house over there and I go to my cousins and just chill there. So I kind of saving my vacation time, but give me some info on that. And yeah, let him know if, if he wants to do a collab. Even if I like send him audio or something, that'd be awesome. Cool jam. I'll check that out. I will check that out. Thoughts on lo-fi hip-hop? Um, I mean, there's so much of it, obviously. It's, like, super overdone. But there's certain artists that I, I love. Like, I love Ginseng, um, Vanilla. Even though Vanilla doesn't really do too much lo-fi. But... Jin Sang, I, I could listen to all day long. All day long. I'm broke. We're out of money again. Susie, Susie. We, we meet again, baby. I know. I ran out. Show me the door, man. Get me out of here. Leaving Vegas. We're going back to New York. Uh, but now we're going back again. What's up, Zico Yoshi? How you doing? How you doing? Yeah, Corp made lo-fi. Corp made lo-fi. Do not forget about that. Do not forget. And ladies and gents, we're back. We got another thousand dollars. I pulled out another grand. Let's go back to Vegas. Let's go. I like the slots. I like relaxing. I like putting my feet up. This is okay. This is a hundred dollars, so this is gonna be quick. Maybe we'll win three sevens. Maybe we'll hit three sevens. I could take everyone out for pizza. And we'll be good. Yeah, more Cat Corp would be cool on vinyl, but he is going like the sample list route. So if there is vinyl that's gonna come out, I'm sure it's gonna be some new stuff. Plus I'll have easy you know, an easier time pushing it and without having to clear samples or worried about clearing samples. He started here at the records, so Mirio Togata, my hero. I watched one episode of My Hero Academia. I can I didn't get into it. I'm like, I'm weird with anime. I like, like, the stereotypical shit. Like, I liked, I, like, loved Attack on Titan and, and Death Note. Like, I'm sure that's, like, the lame stuff to like. But, like, I, I loved it. Um, what else did I watch? And Erased. Oh, my God, Erased. That was a good show. That was a damn good show. Anyone watch Erased? I'm sure, like, some of you had to have watched that. That was, like, huge two or three years ago. Even for me, and I don't really watch anime. Um, what else can we do around here? Oh, it's 80, it's a nice 85 degrees, 803. There's some random stuff you can click on here. But you can't, like, do anything. Like, you just, you just stand there. Let's see, can we go, can we get a room? Can we go to a room? Yeah, I'll watch Cowboy Bebop, Beboop, whatever one day. Everyone says the soundtrack's really good. But Erase, though... Oh my god, that one scene, I'm sorry if I'm ruining this for anyone, but that one scene at the end where he like falls off the building and then he's there and gives him that little wink, I flipped the shit. That was the coolest thing I've ever seen. If, you, if anyone knows of any other anime that is like Erased, let me know, because that's like my type. That's the stuff I'll watch. I'm trying to think what else I watched. Um... 
There was the one, I think it was the same people who made Attack on Titan, made that one about the train. It's like some train in the forest or something. I tried watching that, but I never got really into it. Now this is, this is Pad. Pad plays the dollar. I like to pay the cheap slots so I get to sit and relax. This is the, this is the life. I, yeah, I rewatched a race like three times because I just had to show it. Like I showed it to my girlfriend and then I showed it to my, like my cousin. I just had to rewatch it with them. It was so good. I watched One Punch Man actually. I watched a couple episodes. Um... It was good. The animation was really cool and the story was cool. I like how he like, he said he only ate, like he ate like a banana every day and he did sit-ups or something and that's how he got ripped and could punch the shit out of people. You know, if casinos had just straight up vaporwave music being pumped through the speakers, people would never want to leave. You'd be just zoning out there. That's how they'll grab money. If casinos just played like shit like this, Ghost in the Shell looks cool. Um, they made the re the movie with Scarlett Johansson. I don't know if. Anyone saw it? I didn't see it. I don't know. It looks cool, I guess. Pat, if you like Tag Land, that would probably. The Promise Neverland, it's one I liked. Alright, I'll check that out. Thanks, Emerald. I will check that out. Blame. Is that. Is it an anime or just like a show? Did anyone get the, um, what's it called? The Yule Cowards Don't Even Smoke Crack. Did anyone get the vinyl for that? Didn't that just not exist or something like that? And Vsaw7, this is C at Caesar's Casino, I think, for the Game Boy. I said I was going to play a bunch of Game Boy games, but we just ended up playing this, and now I'm just chilling, so... trying to think of other ones i watched that i liked oh i watched uh knights of sidonia i think is what it was called on netflix that show i thought was really good i really liked that one and then they made a season two i watched that but i don't know if they made a season three i would definitely watch that yeah there's been a lot of change with uh vaporwave cassettes on discogs ever since i made that video that is true. I should do a vinyl one though if I'm gonna do another one because I, I already did cassettes. But I'm, I'm telling you, someone's gotta make another YouTube channel, another Vaporwave channel, because I'm not really that into cassettes. So I don't wanna like make a video just for the sake of covering the topic and I'm not that into it. So that'd be cool. Yeah, there's like 20 Yule Cowards Don't Even Smoke Crack vinyl. I feel out. There's like, isn't there like 10 on his band camp or something? Or the label that's dropping it? Oh, and I, yes, I watched Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. I didn't watch the original though, but I watched the Brotherhood, like half of it. Yeah, I saw the delay about the, the bep, that one on Reddit today.
I actually saw a uh, an LED vinyl on the vinyl subreddit this week. Uh, I forget which album it was for, but they put like LEDs in the record somehow. I didn't. I haven't. I haven't backed or bought a lot of vinyl in the past couple of months. Like, like I've just been trying to budget. Um, but I, I did not. What did I get from Curates? I, like, I forget. I know I got the U.S. Golf '95. That was like one of the first. I feel like Curates, vapor Curates, that was like going round. Was that guy? It's funny, like, besides Vaporwave and some lo-fi stuff and, like, some rap stuff, like, I get a lot, like, I got the, um, the Brockhampton album that just came out, and, like, I, I get some, like, hip-hop stuff. Besides that, everything else in my collection has been from the art sales over the years. I would say, like, only, like, 5% maybe, not even, is stuff I buy online. Everything else has been from yard sales and just, like... Getting like 200 for like 20 bucks. It, there's some like crazy stuff you can get out there. Damn, that's really good. They send you Sailor Wave for free. That's a pretty, pretty expensive record. That's awesome. How you doing, big boy? I am good. I am chilling. I don't got work tomorrow. It's like a personal day. Because I got to take some time off. I have like so much. It just keeps rolling over every year. So, Yeah, do yard sales. And I just, I love going to yard sales. I, like, when I used to collect retro games and then when I did vinyl, I would love, like, in the summer, waking up at, like, 6 in the morning, getting a bagel and, like, grabbing a friend or two and we just drive around like an hour radius of my town and just go to different yard sales you find so much stuff like I have some crazy stories from like record halls I would find and like old video games I would find like some of the craziest stuff definitely go yard sailing for records I, you're gonna you're not gonna find like anything new I think one time I actually went to a yard sale and it was this young dude and he was selling a bunch of like, like mid two thousands like indie and like post hardcore albums on vinyl, which is crazy. Some of that stuff is super super rare. And he had some like Coheed and Cambria on vinyl, which is actually super super expensive. And then he had Senses Fail, their first EP, I think. And I looked it up, and it was like selling for like four hundred bucks or something. So I kept like those. I got nice and snug, um, but. Besides that, I haven't really found anything besides, like, old stuff, which is good. Like, I love, like, you know, classic rock, and then I love jazz, so I get a lot of jazz when I go to garage sales, which is awesome. That's sweet. Five bucks for three jazz. Let's see, what are my greatest garage sale finds? Um, I found... So I found one time, I found a complete box, perfect condition, original Game Boy, 
30 boxed games with the manuals and everything with the games like all these old Game Boy cases and stuff and it was this old lady and she gave it to me for like $20 it was the stupidest thing <laughs> it was crazy I sold like half of it um, and then what else I've got in I've got like a whole NES set once at a garage sale like a complete unboxed NES and a bunch of games And then records, I think one time I got like 300 disco singles for like $10. Like it was, like it was an insane amount of disco. I, mean, I love disco, so it was, it was sweet. Oh, nice. I mean, having the LND lath cut, that's definitely... If you want like to collect vaporwave vinyl and if you really want like rare things, that is definitely me, that is definitely 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 a rare one. I think they only made like 75 of them and then like the clear one I have, they made 75 and then I think the standard black they made 50. I think. And uh, what is playing right now? Form and the track is called Haunted. You could this it's uh, Fidelity Zero on Nightlight Tape. So if anyone wants to check that out drop over to them did I ever try the vinyl subscription service uh, no I haven't but if they only did vi like vaporwave stuff I definitely would that would be cool kind of like not knowing what you're gonna get and yes Alex we need that Ed Sheeran 3-6 Mafia collab when I saw that on Fantano, I was I was at work. Somebody said on Twitter that I was on Fantano, and I was cracking up. Nice, that's cool. Alive. I want to get a bunch of Cry to More vinyl, too. Like a bunch of the nightclub stuff. Um, I have no idea. I have no clue what they're putting on vinyl, but I think they were saying that they're putting vinyl out this year, so. Personally, I love Biomes on vinyl. I think that album by them would be the best to put out. Um, and like, I feel like the packaging and the color of the record and stuff would look really cool if they did that. Any interest? Yeah, a Private Suite's awesome. I just I actually did a podcast with them like a week ago or two weeks ago. Um, really cool dudes like they're super super chill I think I'm gonna have them I want to I want to have them on the channel for a video because in the podcast we talked about that vaporwave madness tournament on reddit um, which is I think it's I think it's like kind of cool I don't know P people like go like so out of the way to be like it's this this thing is like ruining vaporwave and like, I don't really get why like it's not that big of a deal I think it's kind of cool so when the tournament ends, I know they're down to like Luxury Elite and 2814. I think when the tournament ends, we do like a big roundup video and go through every single matchup and kind of just like, it's an opportunity to talk about each album there, which would be fun. It'd be like a nice long video. Maybe we'll live stream it or something. Um, Phantom's Revenge on physical. I would buy that in a second. Before it even go up, I'd find a way to hack into the the site to get that. I would never miss Phantom's Revenge on vinyl. That would be cool. All right, everyone, hold on one second. I'm going to take a quick, like, minute break. And I'll be right back. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. All right. Everyone, I will be back in, like, a minute and a half. So stay cozy. I'll be right back. Listen to some music. I'll see you in a second.
All right, I'm back. I'm back. Sorry about that, everyone. I don't have that Helio Spear. I saw that, though. It looks cool. Are we out of money? No. Let's just throw it all on the table. Let's go big or go home. I mean, you could get the Fluons. I have that, and I, I love that guy. Um, and it's pretty decently priced. I think it's like 200 or 250 Hotel vibes, that would be cool on vinyl. Blood waves would be cool on vinyl. We're broke again, people. We have one dollar left. All right, everybody, give me a number. Where are we putting it? And also, that's a, a good point. If I'm gonna drop any singles on the channel, I think I'm gonna, I might, I'm gonna have it release on a label. I'm gonna release the album on a label. But uh, I think I'm gonna put every song on the channel too. Like, why not? You know, like I built like pad on YouTube, so why not put everything on, on here? All right, you said 12, we're going 12. Imagine it's 12. Nope, the farthest thing we do. <laughs> We're brokes. Susie, show me the door, baby. Get me the hell out of here. What are we down, like five grand now? All right, let's do one more. Let's do one more run at Caesars. Let's see if we can win big. And then I'll call the stream. But yeah, ex I, I think I'm gonna put I'll put the album on YouTube. I think. Regardless, it's gonna be for free on Bandcamp. So. I haven't decided if I want to release a song, like maybe like two tracks before I put it out, or if I just want to drop. I think I'm just gonna drop it all together. To be honest, just to put it out all in one shot. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see as like the hype's building up. That's nice though. So we'll see as the hype's building up, like the week of. I don't have an Instagram, Alex. I just, I never, I don't know. I never thought of making one. I feel like I wouldn't really use it. I actually, well, I made one. Oh, we got it. We got eight. Look at that. Uh, I never thought of making one. But I did. So, like, I have the name for it. So, like, I am technically on Instagram. I just don't use it, nor have I ever posted a picture. All right, let's put a lot of money on black. Yeah, Alex, it's uh it's gonna be directly uploaded to the channel the stream after it's done, so Woo! We rich baby Give me the money Hand it over Alright Let's go Let's get a little crazy Let's put it all on Let's do twenty-eight Let's play all these numbers. Let's make a nice little little city over here. What do we got? That's nothing, right? Nope. 
Caesars, you're killing me. You're robbing me. Thirty-six people watching a man fake gamble on a Game Boy in 2019. Where did we go wrong, everyone? <laughs> Favorite experimental hip hop albums. Um, I, this is kind of like. I feel like everyone says this, but the, for me, it's the Money Store. I love the Money Store. Hey, we got some. to look out for honestly go to the vapor vinyl subreddit and just see what's there and just go on curates there's so much good stuff on curates um like tupperwave just hit um nothing hit a lot of stuff over there so check all that out Also, my pet flamingo is dropping um, Malibu this week, I think, or maybe next week or something. I can't believe it. Alright, let's see what happens. This is it. Go big or go home. Yeah, we, we went broke like, like six or five times already. And that's the game, right? Oh no, we had money on the way. A thousand bucks. I'm just putting it all over here. Uh, opinions on the Echo Jams. We were talking about this earlier in the stream. I didn't get it. Uh, I'm not gonna get it. The whole bootlegs thing, it's like kind of unanswerable in Vaporwave because it's just a big leap. Because if you say it's not a boot, like if you say you're bootlegging Daniel Lopatin, then he kind of used the music, and then you can say that's bootleg. Like it's a big circle of just. I don't even get involved in it. Um, this is kind of confusing, I guess. I don't know. Mini disc, I think it looks cool. I just don't really know how many people actually have mini discs. Wow, we did it again. Except we had nothing on 15. Yeah, Echo Jams did get shut down today, I think it did. No, on uh, Q rates, there was a vinyl pressing for it. Damn, 
bad. We broke again. That's it. Here we go. Are we seeing Susie? Or are we winning big? Alright, where's Susie at? Pull me out of the casino. I think we lost like seven grand, boys. We lost bad, ladies and gents. We it's uh Susie, I will be back. I will be back. But anyway, everyone, um so here's the plan. This is the this is the Patch Eddington plan for the next videos and, and everything. Wait, are we done with it? This has to be shuffling. There's no way we finish this whole album. But um So here's the here's the plan. So the Cry to More video is coming out next. Then we're doing the broken transmission video. Then we'll do a vinyl review or two in there. Um, and like, you know, unboxing videos along the way. Uh, then, well, I mean, the, the, the album too is going to be a big thing. That's going to that's gonna really be my main focus for the next, like, month until it comes out. And then I want to work on touring. So there's going to be that. But yes, we should keep Pad out of Vegas. Virtual Vegas is not good. And thoughts on the Young Bay with Night Temple US show? I'm going to it. I'm going to the one in New York. If anyone is going to the Young Bay show in New York in March, I'ma be there. So come party. We're gonna go. Da We're gonna get ham. We're gonna go ham. It's gonna be good. We're gonna get ham. I'm bringing cold cuts. I'm bringing ham, bologna, and mortadella to the concert. Um, but anyway, everyone, thank you for watching. As always, you guys are the best. Um, always feel free to message me. I'm always down to talk. and Yeah. I think we lost like eight grand in virtual Caesars on the Game Boy. But it was fun. I had a good time. But we'll all stay in touch, everyone. I love you to death. Keep it real. Much love. Your boy, Pad Chenningham.